Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new player of the month Benzema card to review. We're taking a look at a card who is six foot one, medium, medium work rate, right footed, four star skills, four star weak foot. So the medium, medium work rate is his base stuff. Okay, that's what his card was before. On the flashback card, it's a high, low work rate, which for me personally, I think makes a huge, huge difference in regards to I, I, I wouldn't even necessarily say play style, just better attacking AI on his part, right? Uh, it's going to depend on what you want mostly, because if you're using this card as, you know, a false nine striker, or you're using him as someone playing next to somebody else, like a Mbappe card, where he's the aggressive one, and then this one's less, less aggressive, that could be something that you can work with, right? But with this Benzema card, guys, uh, his player traits are... The fact that he has the finesse shot traits, he has the outside foot shot traits. So obviously having the outside foot shot trait when it comes to strong foot strikes, uh, weak foot strikes is definitely going to be something that we have to take a look at because obviously uh, it's very, very helpful to have. In-game attributes. The card is strangely formatted because I'm going to explain why, right? So with this card... You have to give him an engine chemistry style to improve the agility, balance, and dribbling on the card while improving the pace by a little bit. But obviously, this pace for the meta of the game is not necessarily the greatest. So your buildup is going to be a little bit more conservative with a card like this on a medium, medium work rate. However, his shooting for inside the 18-yard box is in a pretty decent area to work with those two shooting traits, right? So that's going to be the main thing. Obviously, you're going to be trying out some shots uh, from outside the 18 to see what they're like in general. But... It is a card that you're mainly going to be taking strikes inside the 18-yard box with. Uh, base card stats for passing is set up very nicely on the engine chemistry style too. So it's a card that can pass the ball uh, really well. Uh, with dribbling, we will be experimenting with it. I kind of have a good idea of what it's going to be like because of the fact that he's a six foot one player at an average body type, right? He's got 99 heading accuracy. So if you do end up winning the ball in the air, definitely very, very nice. But if you're going to utilize heading on the card, you're probably going to have to give him a hawk chemistry style to boost pace shooting and physicality as much as possible but then your dribbling will be in a very rough situation right so uh with this card guys we are going to be trying him out with both the hunter as well as the engine chemistry style uh to see which one fits best because obviously for pace when it comes to strikers it's always nice to have that extra pace in the card right so uh we're gonna be using him in the 352 formation playing left striker because you know testing out finesse shots and whatnot uh, and then we're also going to be using him left striker in that 3 4 one, two. So, yeah, we'll see how he plays. Hopefully he's a beast. That works. Great pass by Deli Alley. Great finish by uh, Benzema. Had the finesse shot angle there, but couldn't get the shot off. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I, I didn't know what was happening, dude. No. Oh, yeah, I had a feeling it's going to be blocked there. I had a feeling. Oh, the AI blocked it again. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, this is me with a, a hunter, by the ways. Oh, he doesn't collect that either. Come on, man. Wow, that actually worked out. Cool. Leaving on a tie. Mm hmm. Saw oh, that coming. Oh, I missed that one, too. Hmm, should have been going for the far post there. There we go. Good finish, good finish. Oh, I gotta put more power behind that. Gotta get that dip on the goalkeeper, you know? Oh, deflection. Oh.
Oh, almost, almost. We got a little bit lucky there. Cheeky little green time shot, but obviously way too far for me to hit a really good one there. Oh, that would have been a really good header. No. Oh, I imagine if I got the chip shot really close to the goalkeeper like that. That would have been dope. Ooh. Worked a little bit of the dribbles there. Oh, no way. On a green, too. Just put too much power on that, I guess. I try to work some uh, three blaze there. Dude, I hit the crossbar again. Come on. Oh, yeah, let's try the uh, first time shot there. Ball by Benzema, though. Well, at least that worked. That was really awkward, like the way that he pushed his goalkeeper against me. Mm, nothing too crazy in the air there. Oh, no way. At least finesse went into the back of the net. This defender almost got it, though. <laughs> no, dude. Come on. No foul. Oh, yeah. He just he just gets out muscled. Eh? Okay, okay. Nice. Good timing. Good timing. You couldn't tell there. I was like super focused. Oh, that movement was so nice too. That definitely would have warranted a goal. For sure. No goal there. <laughs> I could have just gone with Mbappe, but obviously for the sake of the Benzema review. Even with an engine, it takes them a while to kind of like get back onto the ball there, you know? But you see that he has that sway on the card that you're always going to have to work with no matter what. Flashback was the same when it comes to that too, right? Nice finesse shot. We'll take that. Good stuff, good stuff. Nice, good stuff, boys, good stuff. Oh, he's out of the net, so I might as well try it, right? I couldn't take the small little dagger touch right there, you know? To go on like the 45. Right there. Banger. Oh, I saw him far post. I was like, you know what? Maybe if I cross this ball to him, he gets it from behind. Who knows? Nicely done. Good job, Benzema. Nice little shot across goal there.
light time shot to the near pole scores that opportunity. Let's go. We've got nothing, mate. This game's funny, eh? Hit them on the greens, no goals. Hit them on the whites, it's a goal! <laughs> finish again well done well done okay guys so final verdict on the player of the month kareem benzema so guys for me personally uh if i were going to use this card in my team he has to have an engine chemistry style i gave him a hunter chemistry style and right away i was like there's no chance i'm going to be working with 85 agility 78 for balance at a six foot one height and average body type right so by default, you got to give him the engine chemistry style to be able to utilize this, utilize this card as much as possible. So it was like I was saying earlier, right? Because of his medium, medium work rates, his buildup is a little bit more conservative. He's like a pick and choose kind of runner, right? So this card, in a way, it kind of reminds me of someone that can be like the Acardi card, right? The, like the flashback Acardi card. But he definitely needs those team of the season stats to be like an upgraded version of that Acardi card, in my opinion, right? Uh, because obviously, since the engine chemistry style is the obvious choice for this card, in my opinion, he's going to be lacking in certain things, right? So to be able to utilize those shooting traits as much as possible, you want to have as high as possible shooting stats uh, to be able to, you know, really take advantage of those strikes. Most of the strikes that you're going to be able to hit with him is going to be inside the 18 yard box, right? You have to be inside for you to work with the finesse shots, work with the power strikes, right? Obviously, once he was inside the 18-yard box, he took really, really good strikes across goal. You know, going for finesse shots, he did a pretty decent job. Uh, but the problem is obviously going to be in the dribbling department as well as the pace department, even though you're improving the passing and the physicality of the card, right? So if we're going to be doing a comparison, uh, this card for play style, I could see people, you know, maybe choosing the medium, medium. But in my opinion, this card does not scrape the absolute beast of this flashback Benzema card. Because here's what I'm going to explain to you guys, okay? This dribbling, you still got to work with. On that other card with an engine, you still got to work with the, the dribbling. But you know what the most important stats are? Is the agility and balance already being improved. Because listen, this card, you give a hunter chemistry style to. And again, it's a card that you're mostly going to be taking the strikes with inside the 18-yard box. It's not an outside the 18-yard box player. But with this card, it's different because they already have really good base card stats for dribbling the pace you can improve it to be at a 99 acceleration at 98 for sprint speed but then not only that he has a high low work rate and it's a really good high low high low work rate one of the best in the game if not the best in the game like you guys know i'm always crazy about the uh, attacking ai about the flashback benzema but obviously you know passing you have to work with uh dribbling you have to work with so i guess in comparison to the other card the other card is missing the pace parts with the medium medium work rates um, and he's also missing passing ability from the flashback compared to that player of the month too. So playstyle is definitely going to be a huge thing to take a look at. But even though playstyle is taken into consideration, I still think that the flashback Benzema card for how this meta plays out in this game is the better choice of the two, even though this is a 94. This flashback Benzema card was a really good SPC because of how unique he was compared to to this version of the card. I think that this version of the card, honestly, again, you can use him in the meta of the game right now and he'll be decent, but not that crazy, right? You need a team of the season version of him for him to be like a better version of that flashback Acardi card, in my opinion. So uh, yeah, definitely like that. I mean, 90, 98K for the SBC, for those of you that don't have a Benzema and you wanna do it for sentimental value, by all means, be my guest and do it. Uh, but when he gets to team of the season, I think the card will definitely be up there in price. Both shooting traits, if they format the pace, dribbling, and shooting a certain way, it'll be nice. But I really wish that for the team of the season, they were to give him a high-low work rate, just like that flashback Benzema. Because honestly, if they gave that team of the season the high-low, the same as this flashback Benzema, it would be one of my favorite cards in the game, regardless of the average body type. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.